probably Pete. I mean, it depends. If I'm playing, I've been playing a lot of Star Wars The Old Republic, the Star Wars MMO this tour. So if I'm playing that in the dressing room, I'll be the last because I have to like get in, you know, all my game time. So they'll be like, dude, we gotta go. So it depends. Between me and Pat or Pete. Me. The party guy. Boozing. Boozing. Smoking illegal marijuana cigarettes. <laughs> you know, who knows what else? There's no consistency to that. I'd say I'd say uh, very often Joe is, but also he can be the first guy on the bus. It just depends on his mood. But it's all it's all if he found uh, if he found somebody because he's a very social guy. He's very social with other, he's very social with other bands and stuff. So when there are other bands, he's like you know we have to pull him away, whatever. But when there's nobody else, you get up on the bus and he's like and and you know you'd be watching TV and he's like trying to sleep and he's like annoyed that you're watching TV kind of thing. So uh, Patrick, I think. Maybe it's Patrick or Joe. Yeah. Outside of me, I think Pete is Pete's an incredibly intelligent guy. Everyone, our band is. I think it's an, an, an amazing and frustrating thing about our band is everyone has been so highly intelligent and knows they're highly intelligent. Pete, I think, has this really special thing where he's really good. His level of empathy and foresight, I think, is at a different place. And it's probably, maybe, maybe having a, a, a kid help a lot with that, I think. But he's, <coughs> he's had his battles, but like, overall, he's, the older he's gotten, the more he's been able to really see things from other people's point of views. And like, sometimes I'm like, fuck that guy, fuck that guy. He's like, well, think about it from that guy's point of view. I mean, he doesn't, you know, so, I think that's, um, that's a whole another kind of level of intelligence that I think a lot of people do not have because they're so much slaves to their emotions. Ooh, intelligence is a hard thing to quantify. That's wow. Um, I would say certainly the wisest would probably be Andy because he has a very great understanding of of what of how he should and should not conduct himself in, situ in certain situations. Yeah, I mean, like because he's he's. He has this amazing economy of words where he doesn't say a lot unless he doesn't say a lot that he doesn't think is either going to make everybody laugh or is is going to be very important. You know, he's like a sage. So I think Andy's probably the wisest, and that's the most important thing to me in terms of in intelligence. Um, but then I'd say like I don't know, Pete is something of a of an English nerd. And Joe is something of a math nerd, and I'm sort of like a trivia nerd, so I don't know. I mean, Marcus. <laughs> no, I would, I would say the most, uh, the most musically intelligent would be I would put it Patrick, and he also knows the most, the most trivia. Like, so if you put him in a room with somebody, he can talk to everybody in the room for a little while. <laughs> Me easily. No, uh, that's a tough one. I think we're all really smart dudes in different ways. Uh, what did everyone else say? Um, so far, everybody's giving, everyone's deferring to everybody else. Yeah, I'll say me then. I mean, come on. I don't know. I'm vegan straight edge, they're not. I, I've got to, I'm definitely smarter because of that. That's a superior quality in a man or woman. Um, I'm, I'm sure this has become oft-repeated enough that it's not, it's no longer like this big secret surprise fact anymore, but Pete is a really good soccer player, is, a, is, a, is an excellent soccer player, like was, was Allstate in, in Illinois and stuff, like, like, I don't know, it's the, we've talked about that before? Yes, yeah, so, there you go, but you haven't, you and I haven't, world, so, anyway. Um, I'll put that on Patrick. I think, because it's like, I don't know. He's just got more talent than everybody, I feel like, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Patrick, for sure. 
I mean, it depends on what you're talking about. Pete's a talented writer in terms of writing words. Uh, Patrick is, you know, probably the one of the best songwriters I know. Joe's coming to his own. He's an amazing songwriter now. He wrote a lot of stuff on this album, and he's been writing his ass off, you know, for whatever the future is. But uh, I'd say Patrick, just because he's always teaching himself new things, whether it's languages or the trumpet, which isn't good yet, but I'm not learning it, so he wins. <laughs> Musically talented? I think everyone would probably say Patrick, just because he just, he's just one of those guys, you know? I've done lots of bands with guys like that, um, and uh, yeah, there's always, well, for a band to work, there needs to be at least one guy like that. He's just, his brain is just kind of like made more out of musical connections and it's made out of like regular synapses and <laughs> blood, whatever brain's made out of meat, Less brain meat. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I think everybody in this band is super talented. Patrick, which he hates, but if you saw his uh, solo tour, he was pulling out some moves. I don't have moves like that. Pete sure as hell doesn't have moves like that. And Joe is an awkward mess, so it's it's Patrick. We had this, we had this discussion yesterday. I don't really think anybody in this band is truly a real danceaholic. <laughs> but Patrick does a very kind of like really entertaining... I think it's kind of good, sort of like James Browny white dude, kind of like pelvic thrusty dance. I like it. I think it's good. It's definitely on the whiter side of life, but I mean, it's good. Like, I, I, I like it. I'm not a good dancer. <coughs> I can do the Charleston like fucking hell, though. <laughs> but no, he's, he's, I'd say Patrick probably is the best dancer. Okay, the other day they threw me under the bus and said I was, and I'm absolutely not. Like, I can't, I can't dance. But this is the secret about dancing, and this is the only reason that I win by, by forfeit, is that, is that, is that all you have to do is just do it, and, like, that's, like, half the battle. Like, you don't even have to be good at it, but, like, if you're, like, if you'll just move and make a fool of yourself, like, girls are usually just okay with that. So, like... So like, and I do that at weddings and parties and things, and and no one complains. And they go, oh, this is a great day. I'm not though. I know I, it's it's very it's very white. It's a, it's a very very, you know, it's, it's a very it's a very bleached art form <laughs> that I that I mastered. But man, Patrick, he's like, in, I'm telling you right now, anyone out there, invite him to your wedding. I promise you will not be disappointed. <laughs>